Have you ever thought about quitting your job and start your own business? But most of us don't know where to start and how much to invest. Hi, the Lonely Buccaneer here. In this video, we're discussing how to find your idea, where to start, and when to quit your job. Ideas inspired by the book The $100 Startup by Chris Gibo. You probably heard the saying, follow your passion or do what you love, but whatever we're passionate about. Passion alone is not enough to build a successful business. A guy can be passionate about taking pictures, but taking pictures alone is not providing much value to other people. So we need to find that sweet spot between what we like and where we can provide value. Let's say, I like to travel. It also happens that I spend a lot of time surfing the web and stumbles on some really good deals for flights and hotels. As a result, that makes it possible to build a micro business where I can help people seize those deals and get a small cut out of it. But what if we have a passion but lack the skills? Simple, we can acquire them and learn to monetize our passion. Let's go back to the guy who is passionate about photography. If he learns to build a website and leverage social media, he can possibly start a micro business simply on selling the rights on his pictures. So once we have found the converging point, we can start by writing a one-page business plan, where we keep it simple and clear. In fact, we can stick to only five sections. Let's begin with the overview. We can ask where will we sell our product, where are our customer, and how we can help them. By asking those questions at the beginning, it forces us to do some research and test idea. Second, we should think about money, like how will we charge, how will they pay, and how can we grow. Next, we should think about marketing by asking how will people learn about our business and what will encourage them to refer us. In this part, it's really important that when we talk about our product, we state its core benefits. But when it comes to our brand, we appeal to emotion. Fourth, success. It's important to celebrate those small wins. So how will we quantify success? What metric will we use? It can be the numbers of customers, the growth, or simply a targeted annual income. Finally, we got challenges and obstacles. In this section, we can write down all our concerns and maybe the skills that we lack and find ways to bridge that gap. Maybe by associating with someone or taking a course. I know all this may sound counterintuitive to what we have been taught in business school. I can tell you that I spent entire semester building a complicated business plan and doing projection by calculating cash flow. But all these hypotheses are useless if we can't prove that they work. And this is why it's so much more important to run a test and understand our customers' need. We can do that by sending out surveys, approaching potential customers, and even pre-selling our product. A great example from the book is a guy who sold high-end car buying guides before even writing them. So the good thing about a simple business plan is that we can adapt as we go, based on customers' reaction and it prevents us to be stuck in the never-ending process of planning. So it's really important that we learn to trust our judgment, the data, and set a definitive date where we will launch our idea. And to have a successful launch, we can build anticipation for our product. Just think of it as a Hollywood movie, where we see the trailer, some posters, hear excited people talk about it, weeks or even months before the movie comes out. To do that, we can start by providing an early look at the future, where we simply give a head up, like, hey, I'm working on something interesting. Later on, we can tell people why this project matters. Then, we can follow up with a plan for a big debut where we give people more details on the idea. How will it work? And what are the bonuses to be an early buyer? Next, send a reminder the day before the lunch. And finally, on lunch date, we have to make sure to follow up with gratitude or surprise our customer by over-delivering like sending a postcard or a special gift. Let's recap. To build a business, find the sweet spot between your passion and what you can do for money. Then, write a one-page business plan and don't be afraid to be that guy who sold guides before even writing them. Finally, pre-launch your idea like a Hollywood movie and get ready to leave your job like a star. The Verdict I highly recommend this book to anyone who is looking for opportunity to leave their job and go on their own. So for more insight, please check it out. As always, if you liked the video, please subscribe and share for more ideas every week. And I hope I brought you one step closer to your brighter self.